I have survived 100 days in both Reign of Giants and Shipwreck, but those runs were pretty basic and had nothing crazy challenging about them. So I decided to up the ante and see if I could survive 100 days in a permanent frozen wasteland and don't starve Reign of Giants. But that's not the only danger. Using a few world modifications, I made this challenge much, much harder. Will I survive? Let's find out. But before we start, I have to give a big shout out to this comment right here that gave me the idea to turn a live stream into a full 100 days challenge video. And a huge shout out to all of the people who caught it live and helped me through this brutal challenge. So to start, let's go over how the world is generated. We set the world size to large. You would think, oh, more resources because the world is larger, right? Wrong. Setting the world size to large only spread out the limited resources, leading to more walking and more potential freezing. Speaking of freezing, we have to go over the main setting that gives this challenge its name. Every other season except for winter will be disabled. Not only will this mean winter is in permanent effect, but it will always be the winter solstice, the coldest day of winter, and we will spawn right in it with no tools, no fire, and no clothing besides the ones on our character model. One of the biggest obstacles of this challenge is that resources are completely limited. Because temperatures will hardly, if ever, go above freezing, plants such as grass, saplings, and berries will never regrow. Meaning eventually, if we are not careful, we could run out. But there is something that could nullify this downside, the tumbleweed. Introduced in the Reign of Giants DLC, the tumbleweed would create a renewable source of not only tons of grass and twigs, but also other valuable loot. You see, this is a challenge run, so we unfortunately have to turn our beloved tumbleweeds off. It really does hurt. And finally, because we want to make this challenge even more unforgiving, we set Deerclops, the boss of winter, to lots. Theoretically, this should cause Deerclops to spawn every 20 or so days. We learn later, however, that, that there are some, well, issues with this. Stick around to find out what. And finally, the character for this challenge is Wilson. I chose him as he is the most basic character. He also has a beard which will help us immensely when it grows. With all that said, I take some time to compose myself before finally clicking on that start button. Oh wow, it loaded way too fast. I'm not happy about that. And there it is, permanent winter. Oh boy. Let's get moving, let's get moving. We need to get some saplings and some grass. We're going to start freezing very shortly. There's pangles already, great. All right, so I could make a torch soon. That's good, but I wanna save it for now. Now, none of these grass or saplings are going to regrow. Yep, there's the freezing. Let's go ahead and craft up a torch. Do not waste it though. All right, let's burn this, perfect. That'll keep us a little warmer. We don't wanna to be too warm, come on. All right, while we're in this fire, let's grab an ax. Keep us warm, keep us warm. I see the carrot, I'm gonna grab the carrot. All right, let's get some wood here. Look at that, immediately freezing again. Now, on the bright side, we can burn these saplings. I wouldn't advise you do this in a regular world because, you know, saplings are non-renewable, but <laughs> here they're never gonna regrow. Freezing again. Let's go ahead and grab this. Use this tree. These This should warm us up a little bit more. Right now, it's just a fight against time, pretty much. We just need to get as many things going as possible. I'll just pick up these ashes for no reason. Yep, there's freezing number three, or like four. I don't even know at this point. All right, let's burn this grass. The world is set to large. There's no tumbleweeds, so I can't rely on tumbleweeds to give me uh, grass and twigs. So we just kind of have to rely on the twigs and grass that have spawned in the world already. We won't get birch nuts. We won't get anything really good. Man, we are freezing. Freezing, freezing. Hello, pengals. You're very annoying. I'm freezing again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes, I get it. You're very, very, very upset. Very upset. Now, I'd love to get a campfire pit down as soon as possible because regular fires are going to be costly because grass is limited. We are completely limited on grass. I think burning these trees gives me a lot more warmth because they burn for longer. Ooh, the berries. Don't want those to catch on fire. Okay, now they can catch on fire and I don't care because they won't regrow. I hear a uh, clockwork. That's great. We can get gears. Mm, no rocks either yet. That's terrible. This is not looking like the run. 
Let's try to save the torch as much as possible. I could take down that knight, but yeah. All right, let's let's see. Do we have any information on the map here? Not seeing any rocks quite yet. I could break down the icebergs for rocks. My goal is to kind of get like a, a bunch of campfire pits just everywhere, just so I can have like a safety net kind of going on here. Oh, I don't like wasting my torch. We also should head down to the caves as soon as possible. Ooh, ah, that's a pig village. Great, great. <laughs> You are evil, evil turkey guy. And then I need one more flint. Oh, it's not good. I really don't want to start a force fire. Nope, nope, that's that's dangerous. That's going to catch all those flowers on fire. Okay, you know what? It's going to have to happen. Okay, it might not. These carrots are going to save us though. And you know what? These flowers probably should get burnt. They're not going to provide much except sanity. And I have other ways of dealing with sanity. No stones. Off to a terrible start. I think items provide heat. For now, we don't need the pine cones. Yeah, that provides more heat because there's more things in the stack. Though it did not provide enough heat to get me out of freezing territory, so that's not great. Uh, and this, this forest is too heavily forested. Here we go. Our torch is almost gone. Nope, I'm burning. Oh, I started a forest fire. That's not what I wanted it to do, but you know what? We'll take it. We'll take the heat from it. This should warm us up immensely. <laughs> I'm freezing again. Oh, I thought this wasn't going to be that bad. We can just we can just slowly make our way down. This is a marathon, not a race. Okay, perfect. There's a flint. Pickaxe. My health is not looking good. The ice is going to freeze us if we eat it, but this is providing a few rocks. Not enough. This is going to be way harder than I thought. Okay, rock. Yes. Immediately going for it. And a gold rock. Okay, I need a science machine. I need a backpack. I need all the goods. All right, the run has officially started now. Can I make a science machine? I can. Can I make a campfire pit? One more rock and I can. We're going to just set down a base. Something to get us by for now. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Science machine. Penguins. Yay. Backpack. There it is. I need an alchemy engine for that. That sucks. Let's see. That does not provide a lot. Let's just make a crock pot. But we need a thermal stone, which means we need an alchemy engine. So we need to rush that as soon as possible. We need more gold. This looks like a mosaic biome. So there's a good chance we'll find more gold up here. If we run out of grass and twigs, it's over. We're pretty much going to be at the mercy of, well, everything. Because we need axes to actually break trees and stuff. So I'm thinking gold tools as soon as possible would be great as well. Because these regular tools are going to waste our twig supply. All right, let's go. Come on, gold rocks. Come on, gold rocks. Some gold would be great. Yeah, that, that's probably a good idea. Earmuffs would be pretty easy to make. I think that just takes rabbits, right? We can't stay too still either because deer clops is probably going to be on his way at some point. And I'm either going to have to run away from him, which is most likely what's going to happen, or I, I don't know how I could fight him in this state. Even kiting, I'm not, I'm not that confident in. There's the freezing. We don't have much health. We can't survive too much longer. We also got to remember we have to make a trip back. So I could dig up the saplings and then use them as like emergency fire. Man, we just cannot catch a break. Right, I can't freeze. We are very low health. We're also getting a little hungry, but we have those carrots. Ooh, rabbits. Nice, nice. That could be an emergency food source. Let's get another fire pit set down. We're going to get like emergency heating stations set up i'm not too concerned about food because once we find a spider nest and you know they're pretty common once we find one of those we could just use ice and monster meat and just live off meatballs like i'm not that worried about that gold yes this is amazing come on give us two give us two no you're so evil you're so evil why did i make another axe i'm actually confused myself to be honest we also have the cave so if we do run out of resources we can retreat down into the caves to grab some resources. Because sometimes saplings and grass will spawn down in the cave. Actually, most of the time it does. So we can use that to our advantage. And we need our beard to grow. Come on, beard. I wish Wilson could just think really hard and a beard would just pop out. You may be wondering, why am I making fire pits? Well, that's because regular campfires take grass. Grass is a limited resource. So we don't want to rely on that. Okay, we had good luck going this way. So let's try this way again. We're going a little insane. I'm not worried about that. I can I can handle the shadow creatures. Terror beaks suck, but other than them, I'm pretty good at that. Oh, gold. Yes. We just need two more, guys. Two more. And we can finally get this challenge going. <laughs> yes. Yes. One more. Oh, this one dropped too. We're good. Okay. We're going home immediately to finish this. Yeah, hammer for the pig huts is a great idea, actually. Oh. Uh that's not bad. That's a lot of grass, though. You know what? It might be worth it to make a hammer. I don't know if we'll have time to 
actually get all the boards made on their own. And the pig house will give us pig skin. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Hammer for the pig house. That's the way to go. That is the way to go. We only have five roasted carrots left and I'm going to eat them now. I've been saving a few of the ashes as well, just so we can make like healing items. Those can come in handy. All right, we're back home. We're back home. No freezing. I said no freezing. My goodness. Game just doesn't want to listen to me. Alchemy engine. We're going to need a lot of cut stones. So let's go ahead and make four of those. Or wait, pig huts drop cut stone, don't they? We just need to make a hammer. Let's see if we can get a crock pot made up though. What are we looking at for this? We just need three cut stone. That might be worth it, but I don't have any way to make meatballs yet. I know ice works for meatballs, but I still need a meat item. I don't have any meat items on me quite yet. And we haven't found a spider nest. I don't, I honestly don't know what, what might be more challenging. I, I was thinking of also doing a 100 day summer one, but I don't know, man. After how challenging this one is, I don't know. We're barely alive and summer is rough. Nice and warm. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yes, our beard's here. We're gonna freeze a little less. This is a good place to put the fire down because there's lots of things to do here. So I wanna hammer these down. Luckily the pigs don't retaliate and that'll give us pig skin, which we can use for a football helmet. We just need spiders and beefalo. If we can find beefalo, we can kill one to make a winter hat. That might be a good idea. Ooh, I think that'll give us fish leg or frog legs, whatever they're called. No, it gives us rot. I thought those gave you frog legs. We got lots of food here, lots of berries. That'll hold us over. Yeah, no, no fish, no frogs. We still have rabbits. We can still take rabbits down. And there was that rabbit hole back near our old house. Oh, look at them sleeping. They're so cute. This is looking bad. Although I think we can do this. We just need to make it up to the swamp. We just need to make it up to the swamp because it's right there. Ooh, wormhole. That's good. There's a tentacle. Oh, wait, that's a lot of warmth right there. Yes. I know it's causing me to go insane, but I need the warmth. Yeah, we arguably should just head back to get our thermal stone before we do any of this. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, we made it. Boom, alchemy engine. And now, thermal stone. We just need a little bit more stone. Okay, that can be done. That can be done. I could I could get it from the icebergs. I could get it from the icebergs. That's not bad. We could do that. All right, let's go get our thermal stone, guys. Oh no, I started a forest fire. Luckily, it's not that bad. We can actually heat up here, so. Ooh, a morsel. Ooh, yes. That might be day saving right there. All right, that's it. We've got this. Ooh, you should have landed in the fire, buddy. Yes, he did. Yes. Oh, dude, two meatballs, two meatballs. That saves us for like, I think a day or two. That's amazing. Oh, we already had enough. Whoops, my bad. We did a little side quest. All right, we have a thermal stone. We are officially in business. Now we just got to warm this bad boy up. Let's go ahead and get our crop pot down. I just want to get these meatballs made up. Yeah, those two birds that sacrificed themselves to the cause actually might have saved the day. Not even going to lie. We can get another campfire pit set up. And then eventually I'm going to want to grab a bug net. We need to find spiders. Mmm, lots of things we got to do. Yeah, look at this. So we can actually walk around without having to start a fire every like two seconds. Let's make ourselves some golden tools. Yes. All right, opulent pickaxe. Oh, we're out of twigs. That's spooky. It's okay though, because there's a lot of twigs I haven't harvested over here. We could also head over here to grab some berries. Might hold us over until we can find a we can find a whatchamacallit let's see we've got a savanna Ooh, that might be huge rabbits beefalo beefalo question mark lots of rabbits though oh my goodness if we can get glomer oh glomer yeah although the pig king's very far i'm not sure if it's worth it quite yet because then we can get the old bell and if we can get the old bell then that would actually be pretty good all right, I say we start a campfire down in the savanna. Yeah, look at this. We got carrots, all types of goodies down here. Yeah, yeah, we're starting a we're starting a campfire down here at some point. Probably right now since we're going to be stuck in darkness. All right. Looking good. Oh, our beard's longer. We're going to last a little longer now. That's great. Okay. Let's get a move on. We get a full moon tonight, I believe. So that's good. We can stay per pretty productive. Yep, full moon. That's good. Ooh, caves. Nice. Nice. That's really close to our main home, too. That is awesome. Yeah, this is, uh... We need to stay a little bit away from the pig village because we will get killed by the pig, the werepigs. There's one right there, actually. If we could fight just one werepig, we could do it. Ooh, that is amazing. A log suit right there? All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Two... Nope, we got two on us. That's terrible. 
That's actually bad. That actually sucks. Um, okay. Let's equip this. We can get out of this. Alright. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. You hit me! That's not fair. Stop! Okay. Let's dance around the fire a little bit. Yeah. I should have just stayed away. That's my bad. But it's almost daytime anyway. So we'll be fine. They'll convert. And we'll be good. Hounds. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and convert now, please. Thank you. My goodness. That was annoying. All right. We have a hound attack coming. Might be worth it to just use the pigs, but we can handle a, the first hound attack with pretty much no problems. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep. Ooh, monster meat. That's good. Oh, inventory space. Yuck. Okay. I don't need this log suit right now. Come on. But you know what? Sure. If you guys want to do it, go ahead. But I will take that monster meat. Yes, I will. We just need to find that Glomer statue. It should be around here. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Yeah, why? Wait, is he alone? All right, come on. Come here. Two. 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 Perfect. Perfect. We got it. No, the pig. How? How did it spread to the pig skin from that far away? What an anomaly. Deer clops should be coming at some point. I don't want the pine cones. My goodness. Might go ahead and make a drying rack. If we can go get some charcoal, which we can grab some charcoal from over here. Let's get these drying racks down. Jerky is going to be great for us in the long run. Actually, you know what? Maybe making a chest is a good idea for these ashes. Things that I can't store normally. Let's do that. All right. It'll give us a little bit of sanity too. So you're right. Good idea. All right. What do we need for the lantern? Lantern. Rope. Light bulbs. And I think we need an alchemy engine, don't we? Probably. We just got to hope we get lucky in the caves too. Because there's a good chance that we get down there and there's no light bulbs. All right. Let's get down into the caves. All right, let's do this immediately off the bat. I'm not seeing any light bulbs. I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, we're gonna have to make torches then. Oh, this is where our resources begin to drain. We just need to find light bulbs. Oh, spiders though, nice. Oh, full tier spider nest too. Ooh, we'll be back for that. We will be back for that. Just don't turn into a spider queen, please. We'll be back for that when we get a better light source. Dude, I've never been this unlucky when it comes to finding light bulbs. Like, it's... Wow. <laughs> well, at least it is It is kind of replenishing our resources here. Because we have the saplings and the grass down here that kind of make up for it. No light bulbs in the entire vicinity. Now I'm just getting lost. Oh, 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 I see light. Yes! There they are. Okay. We have found the light bulbs. Let's just go ahead and grab a few. Yeah, yeah. You're very... Oh, rabbit. Rabbit, though. Oh, can't get it. It woke up. Oh, wait. It went back to bed. All right. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, but we need food. <laughs> All right, let's go. Whoa, the snow went away. <laughs> That's weird. The caves are so buggy and single player don't starve. And now we have reusable light. That's great. Or, well, refuelable light. We also have meatballs here that we can make. Perfect. All right, we got to go back down there, though, because we need these spiders. We need to take out the spiders. So let's just go ahead and head back with our lantern. Look at us with our cool lantern. If we can get silk, we can get miner's hat. Miner's hat would be great. Another cool thing about the lantern is I can do this. I can drop it, and it stays there. All right, come on. Perfect. All right. This is a great source of meat, of silk. And my goal is to drain this whole nest out. And the reason I'm not fighting them like normal is because I don't want to deal with the spider warriors. Because they can't be kited. They're kind of annoying. 
All right, I think that's one left. Oh, he got me. That's okay. All right, now we get the silk. Beautiful. We can bring these spider eggs to the surface too. All right, I'm thinking it's time we get back out. We've got the silk. We've got the monster meat. All right, the snow is gone off of the floor again. That's so weird. But I promise it's still winter. <laughs> I think now we want to make a fridge. Now it's time to go make a fridge. Let's get this jerky, though. This is going to be great for our sanity. I'm feeling very good about this challenge, guys. Also, what? Why do these birch nut trees have leaves? All right, come on. Come on, let's go. There we go. One, two, three. Nope, it has to be two. All right, that's fine. Got another spear here, too. Let's get this fire going. Now it's time to make an ice box. So let's do that. Perfect. Now we have a food solution to hold all of our goodies, which is great. Let's also plant these spider eggs somewhere nearby, but not too close. That way we can, we can at least farm them a little bit. Let's put them right here. I think that's a good idea. Like up here. Looks good. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Why did I put that away? <laughs> Net. Yes, we want that. All right, that'll give us some sanity too. Yeah, the first few days were tough. I don't know how I survived that. What just happened to the screen? Okay. I, I mean, we know it's winter, so let's do resources. Today's going to be a resource day. Gotcha. How many do I need for a miner's hat? I think I need two. But worst case scenario, having some as a backup emergency isn't a terrible idea. Yeah, at least none of the resources have grown back. That's the real part of this challenge, is that we won't get resources to grow back ever. So we will have to be careful about that. All right. No snow yet, but we're fine. And we're still getting cold. So there it goes. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah, I, I guess the caves are just weird. <laughs> okay, now we have snow again. It's not like it does anything in major. I think it lowers the temperature by just a little bit, but not like really noticeable. What is that? Oh, bats. Yuck. Oh, no, I... Crap. All right, then. Oh, good. They left me alone. Alone. No, they did not. All right. Hey, free monster meat. Mac Tusk. Yes. Yes, we need to find Mac Tusk. We can get Mac Tusk, then that would be great. We can keep this torch for emergency heat, but we have the miner hat now for exploring because that probably the best fuel or oh, there was a there's lightning bugs there, but oh well. Here, we'll leave the net behind as well. Let's do some exploring. We've got time. We've got We've got a thermal stone. We're good to explore. Yeah, these trees grew their leaves back somehow, but those should probably change soon. Not like it's OP or anything. I think now they'll just drop one one birch nut, but that's nothing crazy. Yeah, let's just go on a resource gathering run slash exploring run. I think that's a good idea. I think that'll be a great idea. Is that the desert? That's the desert. That's good. We can go down there. We could eat the cactuses. They, I don't know if they regrow though. They might, but if so, that's that's a good food source as well. Plus sanity. Ooh, yeah, that's sanity. We have to get past these dogs to get into the desert. Oh, what? I thought I was far enough away. One, two, three. All right, so if I pick this, I don't know if they'll regrow though. That's the problem. I don't actually know if they'll regrow. If they do, that's great. Then we have our food source settled. Ooh, koala fin. Koala fin. Okay, we could do this. We could do this. There it is. Okay, so we'll be able to fight the koala fin here shortly. What's up, dude? All right, we have to figure out how to... We're going to have to lead it to the edge and then lead it away from the edge. Here we go. It's a little smart, though, but that's not smart. All right, come on. Let's go. Get away from the edge. I think it's like a beefalo. I think you can do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four. There we go. We just got a ton of meat. And the winter koala fin trunk, which we could technically use to make the puffy vest. And we might just for fun, because why not? I haven't found any beefalo, though. I've not found a single beefalo. Like, everything that could be happening wrong in this run is happening. But I'm still surviving. What do we need for the puffy vest? Just for fun. There it is. Oh, so much silk, though. We'll make it eventually, but not now. That's way too much silk. 
Hey, spiders, where were you guys when I was just starting? My goodness. All right, we could lead them out this way to then take them out without traps. We just get far enough away. One, two, three, and yeah, the whole forest is now mad at us. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Okay. Hey, we got one silk out of it, so it was worth it. Are there any in here? I don't want to hit it and then get a spider warrior. Let's get moving. If we can find Chester, that would be cool. Ooh, is that a swamp? That's a swamp, if I've ever seen one. That's all purpley up there. All right, here we go. We've got tentacles. Another set piece. What is this? This is like the third one of these I found with another grass suit. We could use this as a fuel, actually. Okay, this has got to be the most boring swamp I've ever seen. Where's the merms? Where's the... There's the merms. Okay. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for that. All right, let's get a fire pit down in the swamp, because we don't have one in the swamp. So getting one down here is probably worth it. Plus, we're going to have to fight dogs very shortly. Let's just go ahead and eat this. Yeah, the beard is super good for this challenge. There they are. All right, come on. One, two, three. Perfect timing. One, two, three. Awesome. That should be it. I think it's only two for the second attack. Yeah. Oh, no way. That's a... Okay, well, we just got a free deer clop kill. This is a tentacle trap. No way. That is amazing. That's an absolutely amazing find. Okay, well, we know how we're going to deal with deer clops now. Other than that, though, it doesn't look like anything interesting is here. Daytime. We're doing good. Let's just go ahead and cut down this totally normal tree. Just get the living logs now. Alright, we can dig up that stump too, but we don't have the golden shovel learned yet. If I'm going to use a shovel, I want the golden one. We could also work on a Prestahatitator. 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 That's how you say it, right? Prestahatitator. Interesting. Boom. We've got more meatballs that we can make. We are doing really good on food. Like, really good. I'm actually very proud of myself. I also would love to find the Mac Tusk. Yeah, look at that. That grass suit just absolutely gave us a tier 4 fire. Winter is still here. So we still got to deal with it. And that day counter says 20. Huh? Not 100. All right, let's burn down some trees to get warm. Oh, we're hungry. We don't have any meatballs left on us. We might have to retreat home, make up some meatballs. I'm just gathering the last of this grass so we don't ever have to come back down here again. So good. That should be all the grass there taken out. So we won't have to come back down here to this boring little plateau anymore. Oh, my spear broke. Oh, crap. Okay. We could use the axe. Kind of a waste, but... Oh, that sucks. He just hit me with no armor on. Crap. Okay. Okay. Things are worse now. We can't deal with all that. Let's just go. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go. Alright, they should leave us alone at some point. Let's see. Let's eat another jerky. Just to get our health up. We are now 20 days in, and you may be wondering why I sound different. That's because this is me from the future, and unfortunately, I am a little sick right now, so my voice is a little rough. Either way, I wanted to say thank you for making it this far into the video. This is a totally different style of editing for my videos, so if you enjoy this style, leave a comment down below, so I know that this is what you guys want to see more in the future. If you think this style is bad, or just want to see some changes in the future videos, go ahead and leave a comment explaining that down below as well. Feedback truly helps my channel, and I want to put out content that you guys want to watch. Alright, back to the video. But we got another spider gland. I'm just going to use that to heal real quick. We want to get our health up a little bit before Mr. Klops comes to pay a visit. Let's continue exploring. We've already gone down here. We go down here, maybe check down here, see if Chester's down here. Then we can start utilizing wormholes. Want to find Chester. I think that'd be fun. I also want to make a Prestahatitator. There's a lot I want to do. Beefalo! Yes! 
Oh, that's great. And knights. Okay, more gears. All right. Let's put these ashes away. Let's put these pine cones away. We can also take out those beefalo to get a winter hat. Oh, and this knight. Give us some gears. Yeah! Oh! Whoa! Where did you come from? <laughs> what was that? Where did he come from? Oh, this is the... Wait, what is this? I've never seen a rook outside of a... Outside of the, uh... Whoa, whoa, why are the beefalo mad at me? What? What? Why are they in heat? Um... I, I mean, this is interesting. Why are they in heat? I thought it was spring. There we go. Nice. Got some beefalo wool. Can take that. Let's actually... You know what? This is far enough away from home that we can set another outpost here. Get us to warm up a little bit. Alright, koala fint right there. Oh, perfect. Not even... Yeah, come on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We're gonna fight. Alright, do your hit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Is it five or is it six? Oh, I, I guess the world may never know. <laughs> Lots of meat, though. Beautiful. Alright, we've got another road down here. Alright, what do we got down here? Nothing good. We got a large patch here that we haven't explored, though. Let's do that. You know what would be awesome? If we found a winter trap right now. That little... That structure that makes it winter. Because it's already winter, so... <laughs> Dude, we're at ice thermal stone and we're fine. I love this beard. It is great. Although we will start freezing soon, so... Yep. Speak of the devil. Get a quick fire. We have the potato thing over here. Which I think comes with some grass. Yeah, comes with some grass. So, we can grab this. These farms are absolutely useless. We could hammer them, though, to get some extra grass. Yes, that would be adequate. However, our inventory is a little full. And I don't want to drop much of this, so we might have to head back, deliver our goodies to the home base. Oh, I, I'm full on grass. Oh, dude, we could use some jerky right now. Look at our stats. That is just begging for jerky. Oh, another beefalo died. That actually is not good. That means this beefalo won't reproduce. This is the last beefalo, guys. The final beefalo. One beefalo can reproduce? Really? I didn't know they could reproduce through mitosis. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we got meat. We got qualifant trunk. Ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and refuel before these guys spoil. Oh, dude, we're, we're actually doing pretty good now. We've got tons of meat. I'm actually tempted to get more drying racks because more jerky might be good. In fact, I might do that. I'm feeling kind of kind of spendy today, guys. Let's get some drying racks. Yeah, Hamlet is fun. Like, I like how you can actually, like, have huh? a house. What? That's not what I made at all. You guys saw that. I... Okay. Well, I guess we have a science machine in our pocket now. <laughs> Whatever. Since I'm playing console, everybody knows I'm not using mods. So there's nothing to make it easier here. When we get our first deer clops attack, I'm not going to be too scared of him because we could just lead him to the tentacle trap. That should be a guaranteed kill. Although, I am worried about getting the stuff afterwards. That might be hard. <laughs> I haven't actually recorded Don't Starve Together. I also haven't played it that much. I think the last time I played it was when they actually released uh, the ability to go on the ocean. So, that should tell you it's it's been a long time since I've played Don't Starve Together. And I'd really love to get Glomer. But I genuinely cannot find Glomer. Maybe here? Maybe. I mean, there is something right there if you look closely at the shadows there. All right. Ooh, Flotsam. That is... I, I totally forgot that was a thing. That is good. I could fish that up and get some things to give to the parrot or the pig king. And boards. I think it drops boards too. Oh, that that's pretty good. I think I did that one pretty good. Okay. That would make for an interesting challenge, relying only on Flotsam. I don't know if you could do that, though. But look at this. We can grab this real quick. Oh, of course we get an old boot first time. Whatever. I think this is actually the only use of the... Really? What? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, boards and logs, that's not bad. I'm happy with it. I don't know what these old boots... If only I had another. Yeah, there's two right here, Wilson. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a... Whoa. 
Whoa. Bee mine. Beekeeper hat. Bee box. Well, I'll take that for sanity. Um, wow, had I found this, had I found this, I would have been able to get the miner's hat sooner. Oh, there's Glomer. Ah, I see him. All right, so we got Glomer now. We can actually go ahead and mine up this so we can get the old bell. Hello, Glomer. How you doing? All right, you come with me. I wish we found him sooner, because then we could have gotten an old bell sooner and then kept this Glomer or something. Oh, Glomer's so cute, man. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'll fight you if you're alone. Glomer, stay out of the way. Oh, sorry, Glomer. That's for later, not now. <laughs> All right, bacon and eggs, guys. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. All right, Glomer, let's do this. Sorry, buddy. Everybody look away. All right, where's Krampus? There he is. I would have been very upset if I got the cramp. Well, not upset, but... It'd be funny if I got the Krampus sack. Did I ring it? No, I didn't. I didn't get it in time. There we go. All right, time to go. Yep. Oh, did you see that? All right, we're behind him now. Epic. Oh, what? He didn't break the spider nest? All right, let's do another old, be old bell. Oh, we're freezing a little bit. We'll just run off. Head back to our fire over here. We can use Glomer's goop. Ah! Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Whoa. That was not cool. That freaked me out. A lot of close calls in this run so far. I can't lie. All right. Oh. Do we use the last of our old bell and possibly die again? Because that would be funny. I'm actually going to switch to the 100% just for now. <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and finish it all off then. There we go. think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We even got a pig hut. Nope, my pig skin. Let's eat some of this. Mmm, look at that. Sanity right back up. Just going to get some extra wood here, even though we just absolutely decimated the forest. I just want to clear up this area so we can expand our base a little bit. Uh, Presta Hattitator is also on my list of things I want to make. There it is. All right, give me that. Beautiful. We could take this gnome to get some extra gold or just for decoration because it's cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. I made the bats angry. They're very annoying at nighttime. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. You guys are very annoying. Luckily, they're not that dangerous, especially if we can get home in time. Yeah, watch this. We'll take them out. You guys coming? Or not? I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with no, no fighting. Stop! Go away! Get off of my fire! Go away! Shoo! Those hands are evil. We can keep some jerky with us, too. It's a good eating thing. Alright, let's go grab these rabbits. Gotcha. There's one. What? I got scammed. Yeah, there we go. Come on, we don't have a lot of daylight. That's the problem with winter. Nice. Alright, one more. Yeah, okay, we got him. Perfect timing, too. Woo! We got him. Then let's go ahead and make ourselves a Presta Hattitator. He might not spawn at all. What? Why? Oh, no. That would make this not fun. Uh, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Maybe he'll spawn. Let's hope. All we can do now is hope. But if not, we'll still keep going. I mean, there's still more to challenge us than just deer clops. What I'm really scared of, though, is if he does spawn, because he's on lots, are there going to be multiple of them? Because in that case... It's going to be much harder to deal with. If there's just one deer clops, that would be pretty easy to deal with anyway. Like, I'm not too worried about a solo deer clops. Ooh. He normally spawns at night. Oh. Whoa. The pond isn't frozen. What? This is weird, guys. 
I don't know what's going on with winter right now, but it is acting weird. It's acting like the end of winter right now, which is super weird. It's like this is about the same series of events that would happen during the end of winter. Oh, that's great. Okay, we'll we'll stay here. We'll stay here. Mac tusk. That is good. We can get we can get all types of goodies from this guy. All right, let's set down a base camp here then. Somewhat close, but not too close. Let's do it like right here. Uh, yeah, let's do it like right here. Oh, whoa, he came outside. What's up? Okay, come on. I want to get him to the edge because we could we could handle him. What did he just shoot at? All right, he's going to shoot at me, but I want to take out his dogs. All right. He doesn't do too much. Oh, perfect. No. All right, get on the edge. Come on. Oh, you're very annoying. You're a very annoying individual. All right, you know what? Oh, he's going to keep shooting at me. He's so annoying. Yep, there's another shot. Uh, we have a hound attack coming. You are annoying. And then he just runs away. Come here. You're going down. Oh, I got a hound attack now? Yuck. Stop with the blow dart, man. All right, we got to figure this out. This is a problem. This is a problem, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. There's only three of them, but I don't want to stop and fight them, to be totally honest. That was a failed Mac Tusk attempt. The worst thing that could happen right now is Deer Clop spawning. That would be funny. That would be dramatic. Not the bats. Yuck. Okay. Where are you at? There he's at. Whoa. Why? Where did where did you come from? Where'd the second one come? Was there three? Did I miss that? I totally missed that, didn't I? Alright. Macrinus, can you save me? Oh, Snow's back. Yuck. Alright. There's that taken care of. I told you guys we'd be fine. Just a, a small hiccup. Yeah, there's still a long time until day 100. Koalifant trunk steak. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. That is a massive amount of yumminess. We have to go back up and re-challenge Mac Tusk. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I don't want to do it in the middle of the night. But I mean, if he doesn't show up, it's not like it's not like he's that much of a challenge. He's he is a challenging thing. But once you get your sanity management done, he's not that bad. All right, let's head up to the Mac Tusk. We'll just act as business as usual until we get the notification or something. I'm just wandering. Ooh, hey. Wait, that could be a Varg. Uh, but we want meat. Let's do it. If it's a Varg, we'll just not be happy. All right, let's get a let's get a first look at this. Okay, it's a Koalifant. Nice. We can handle that. Perfect. All right, well, we just got our meat replenished. We just got to follow this road. No chesty yet, which is weird. Not vital. Just cool to have. No no dogs to help you this time, huh? Yeah. Really? He gave us nothing. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Now, I'll be honest. Potentially losing the ability to fight deer clops made me incredibly upset. But I was still holding on to hope that maybe, just maybe, Deerclops would spawn if we didn't go in the caves. Now in this stage of the game, the caves are pretty much one of the only ways to progress. So we spent our time doing a lot of pretty boring things like Krampus farming until day 50. You however clicked on this video because you want the fun parts of the 100 days challenge. So from here until day 50, expect the day counter to rise incredibly fast. That goes right to the touchstone. 
that we're not going to use because we're never dying. All right, so it's day 34 now. The snow is back. And I'm still going to avoid the caves because I don't know if that's what's causing deer clops to be delayed. I think we'll delay the caves. We won't go in the caves until day 50, at least. Because if he doesn't show up by day 50, then I'll assume that he's broken and I'll be very sad. Um, we can make tooth traps. Tooth traps is a very resource intensive thing, though. But it might be worth it for the larger hound waves that are coming. So let's do that. Now let's just go ahead and plant it like right here. We'll make a line here. All right, we got tons of twigs we can leave in the chests. Yeah, I really don't think we're going to run out of resources. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, look, we get, we're getting more resources. This is great. See, as long as we're smart with them, we shouldn't run out at all. Because we're not even halfway there, but we still have a ton of resources left to gather. Plus, we have the caves in emergency, so there is that. And Flotsam is pretty good. Another thing I've noticed is the Pengals stop spawning, which is interesting. Yeah, the first few days were tough. But now that we pass that, it's going to slowly get easier as we get closer to day 100. That's how the nature of these challenges usually work anyway. Because normally with survival games... The longer you manage to survive, the easier it gets. Because, I mean, realistically, even if Deerclops attacked us, we would be fine. Like, I'm I'm not worried about Deerclops. Dragonfly, yes, that would suck. And I really hope that we can find a way to get Dragonfly to spawn, even if it means we have to avoid the caves when we do our summer run. Oh, that'd be terrifying. No caves, summer. No tumbleweeds. I don't think that's possible. I genuinely don't think that's possible. Fun fact, the world starts to progressively get hotter. Really? It gets hotter over time? They added global warming to don't starve? That's crazy. All right, we're not able to hold any more gold, but I'll make room for it. Ugh, or flint. You know what? We don't need this 27% log suit. You know what? We're rich. We'll just set down a campfire pit right here throw in a grass tuft put our thermal stone down and just enjoy the night welcome to day 38 then let's put our crock pot down our second one this base is looking very cluttered i apologize come on Oop. there you go not pretty but it gets the job done all right boom tent now we can actually skip the boring nights so what we can do here is actually go ahead and set the ice box down over here well actually yeah this is pretty decent right, ice box crock pot and tent like this and then campfire over here like this all right so yeah, here's how it works. We'll just sit here. No feather hat though, which means not a lot of birds. Hounds, okay. Can handle that. All right, let's head to our tooth traps. We'll deal with Krampus later. All right, come here. Are none of the, yep. Ow, that was my bad. Oh, this is not enough tooth traps. Oh my. How many of there are you? Ow. Not enough tooth traps. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but we're still going to take hits. I prefer not to. Um, I don't want to take too much damage. Okay, wait. There's just two left. No, what? That was the wrong hound. See, they're on, like, alternating attack patterns, so it's very awkward. But there we go. We're fine. They were on alternating attack patterns. I didn't like that. 
<sighs> all right. All right. Can we get Krampus to spawn real quick? Maybe we can get a Krampus fight real quick. Yes. Yes. There he is. There's the man. Krampus sack? Nope. Oh, I thought that was Deer Clops for a second. I was about to get excited. No. No, it's not. We're not that lucky yet. Where's Krampus? Not here, that's for sure. Right now, I want to fight Krampus. Oh, I think that was him. Yep, there he is. Krampus sack? Nope. Alright. There he is. What's up, man? Alright, wait till he gets angry at the flint. What? Why are you running? You're supposed to be... There you go. Oh, he got two hits on us. No Krampus sack yet. That sucks, but oh well. It- what? What? It's raining. This is not something I was prepared for. It is raining in winter. Let's try to get some more silk if we can. I want to try... Are you going to spider warrior me? Yeah. Hmm. You know, a dark sword would be awesome. That's actually... We would need to get a purple gem, though. And more nightmare fuel, which means we need to go insane. Alright, this could be Varg. And then we're in trouble. But I'm going to take my chances. Because if it is a Qualifant, that's a lot of food we can make. A lot of jerky. Alright, it's close by. Let's see. Qualifant, yes! Nice. Two, three, four... Yes, it's time for you to get mad at me. Alright. Good. Where is Sun? Oh, you're not going to see the Sun for a long time, buddy. Sorry. Alright. That's good. That's four more. Matt. Oh, you're not homeless. Well, then I don't feel bad about this. Because you'll respawn. Yoink. One, two. Awesome. We got tons of logs, too. We didn't pick up any of the logs from when we used our old bell. Alright. Well, let's... Let's pass this spooky... Oh, look at them. Why are you guys even active? It's winter. Go back to bed. Whoa! I made a mistake. Guess what's not in my inventory? Food. Yeah, I... Wow. How did I forget food? Okay. Luckily, I... Don't think I've harvested these berry bushes. Hounds. Okay. Could be more problematic than helpful, but we have those bees down there. That would be a really good anti-hound thing. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Yes. The bees. The bees have started their assault. Dude, honestly, just six bees might be able to handle all the hounds. Like, look at this. This is stupid. Look at that. <laughs> They're having troubles. Look at that. Look at that. It's just one hound left. The bees got it. I'm gonna kill this bee, though. The bees totally got it. Oh. No, the bees don't got it? Oh, guys. Place your bets. Who's winning? Who's winning? No, we have to watch this. Oh, come on. Come on. Who's winning? Who? Ooh! Killed by the bee. Alright, sorry bee, but you're annoying. It is now day 50. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to head back home here real quick. And then, let's take this ham here. And then let's make a ham bat. Yeah, because this will stay good while we go in the caves as well. And it'll give us some sanity. <laughs> We are now halfway done with this challenge. And unfortunately, because we decided to spend a majority of the second half in the caves and ruins, 
I actually cannot keep track of the day count while we are down there. So for now, we will be totally in the dark, both figuratively and literally, for until we resurface. Also, now that the threat of deer collops is gone, and we no longer have to fear the cold, you may think that this challenge is going to be far too easy going forward. Well, my friend, luckily for you, I am stupid and get myself into situations that very well could end in catastrophe. Let's get back to the video so you can find out what. I don't really mess around with Slurtles that much because I just don't, I, I don't understand them. I'm going to be honest, I, I just don't. We didn't get a lot of light bulbs, I'm going to be honest, but we got, well, I think it refreshes this, we could use it to refresh this stack to last just a little bit longer, so you know what, it might be worth it. Dude, those bunny men look crazy when they're in nightmare form. Alright. What? Why do Battleists come out of the ruins hole? Oh, this can't one-hit Battleists anymore. I might make a new one. Honestly, that's game-changing. I don't like that. All right, we gotta find the ancient pseudoscience station. It's gonna happen at some point. Nice, and the nightmare cycle is off, so we're good to go. We just gotta make it through the maze, and all the other rock lobsters should be left down there. We can befriend the ones that are not left down there. I don't want to accidentally cause a... Yeah, now it's on. Like, now it's on, on, for real. Yeah. Okay, it's time to go. It's time for the epic terror beak fighting montage. Hopefully the other one doesn't catch up before I can kill this one down. Nope, the other one caught up. It's time to get to work. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, it might not be time to cook. This is absolutely dangerous. I'm not worried about the, the crawling horror. I'm worried about the nightmare beaks. Oh, oh, they're nightmare beaks. I thought they were terror beaks. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's inevitable. And we have these rock lobsters, which are only going to hinder us at this point. They are only going to hinder us. We could just run them around. I prefer not to though. There we go, okay. I can handle I can handle one terror beak. I keep wanting to call them terror beaks. They're not terror beaks, they're nightmare beaks. I can handle one of them. Easily. Oh, perfect. Okay. Now it's just crawling horrors, which I can I can easily handle these guys. They're not that bad. Yeah, we go insane very quickly down here. It's it's actually kind of nuts. Alright, nightmare cycle is over. Good. Now it's confirmed over. However, we are still attempting to find the ancient pseudoscience station with no luck yet. There it is. Oh my, this one's fully repaired too. All right, looks like we just got a rook. And he's not even within danger zone. Look at that. All right, we did leave all of our gems up top, but here we go. We can make a Thulsite crown if we go back up and grab our nightmare fuel and Thulsite. So we have found it. We have found it. And now it's just a matter of protecting it. So let's do what we need to do. We'll put down a fire right here so that we could throw on our football helmet and attack this guy because we're crazy like that. And is he, he going to break our fire? No, he's not. <laughs> There's multiple. Go, my rock lobster friends. Yeah. Look at that. Takes him out like a charm. See, look at all those rooks that were just hiding in the darkness. Now these guys will get this place nice and protected, so we won't have to deal with any more clockworks. And now, we have an ancient pseudoscience station that is protected. So, we no longer have to worry about spooky monsters near our ancient pseudoscience station. Dual Sight Crown. Boom. Another Depth Worm attack. Interesting, but again, much less dangerous than many other of the attacks that can happen. Plus, we have rock lobsters, which will probably keep them busy. Is he eating the monster meat? I didn't know they ate. That's a oh, wow! You came out of nowhere, my friend. I'm overheating. Whoa, 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 I'm overheating. You can get five hits on these guys. Sometimes. Sometimes they don't let you hit them. There we go. 
handled. I'll take the cave lichen. Why not? We can use it to make meatballs. It'll hold us over for longer. We'll also take these to increase the longevity of our light bulbs. Nothing interesting there, really. But that's okay. That's to be expected. Also, this has got to be, like, the most perfect ancient guardian, like, battle platform. Because he gets stuck right here, and it's, like... That's got to be, like, perfect. Yellow gem. Okay, that's bad. Now is time to go for real, for real. <laughs> I can't handle three of them. Let's be honest. These chests are normally pretty pretty basic and bad. So I'm not I'm not seeing it as a, you know, great accomplishment. Oh, great. Come on. Fine. Yeah, look at that. He, he packs a punch, man. They... They pack a punch. Okay, we've got two gatekeeping the ancient pseudoscience station, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to leave for a second here. Gather up our health. And we are here. Welcome to the ancient pseudoscience station. Let's get the fire going. Let's throw on our crown, because we look cooler that way. And then let's get to making stuff. We can make the full site medallion, that sounds fun. I think that just activates when the, yeah, it just shows when the nightmare cycle is a thing. We can make Magnaluminescence, the Lazy Forager. Oh, we could have made the Lazy Forager. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's my bad. That's my bad. Starcaller's staff takes, oh, it takes living logs. Okay, well, that's fine. We're, we'll just make the construction amulet because it looks cool, and the Magnaluminescence, because it looks cool. We could have made the Lazy Forager, though. That sucks. So, we've taken down the ruins. We've taken down a large majority of everything that this cave has to offer. We can grab this Tentacle Spike. That's kind of cool. Two Tentacle Spikes, actually. That's better than Spears, that's for sure. Not better than the Ham Bat, but better than Spears. I mean, we could finish exploring off this cave, maybe. We could bring him to the surface, too, actually, to help us take out a lot of things there, like the hounds and the... You know what? I think that's our next goal. I think we head back up to the surface so that we can take out the the spiders and the hounds, just completely make the world above us safe. I think that would be fun. Hello. More friends to bring to the surface. Hello. All right. Let's do this. Now that we have resurfaced from the caves and conquered most of what Don't Starve Permanent Winter has to offer us, minus deer clops, we have to face the biggest obstacle of any 100 days challenge, boredom. Luckily, we actually managed to do two pretty fun things in the last quarter of the challenge that alleviate the danger of boredom. First up, hiring rock lobsters for a very sinister task. Oh yes, here we go. The battle has started. The battle has started. I'll fight alongside my men. Yes! This is the action we needed! This is the action we needed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh no, we got a spider queen. <laughs> this could be interesting. This could be interesting. All right, my men, let's do this. We could take on a spider queen, easy. Easy peasy, where is she? Two of them. Take out the Spider Queen. Two Spider Queens at once is crazy, but we got this. There's one down. Oh, there's three Spider Queens, guys! Oh! 
Oop, that's gonna hit us. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to which way she was looking. Wow. Dude, rock lobsters are insane. All three spider queens down just like that. There's a fourth one! There's a fourth spider queen! There's a fourth spider queen. We're going insane. <laughs> wow. I think that just got rid of all the spider nests down here. Like, for real. That's kind of crazy. We got so many spider hats now. <laughs> Let's take out the rest of these. There's another spider queen, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ow. Okay, you know what? I have the shield now. Might as well eat it. Look at them go, man. They're just handling it. All right, where's that spider queen at? She's down here somewhere. There she is. Yes. Go ahead and come up here, spider queen. See what's going to happen to you. See what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> we don't even have to do anything, dude. We just have to sit here and watch this carnage happen. Like, look at this. This is insane. This is kind of... This is... Rock lobsters are the best, dude. They make everything just easy mode. As long as you don't need to... Just be careful with them near your rocks, because they'll eat all your rocks. But other than that, I mean, look at this. I don't have to do a thing. The spider queen is going down. And I don't have to do a thing. I mean, sure, I can help them, but I didn't need to. There's another one! There's another one! Somebody hit me there. Oh, wow. I, we just got rid of all the spiders here. There's one spider nest left. There's one spider nest left. We might as well just take it all out. We've got a terror beak up here, though. That's going to get annoying if we don't handle it now. I think they took out that spider queen because they're all coming up here now. Unless these are the ones that did not get aggroed to the spider queen. Wait, I hear the spider queen. I think she's not gone yet. All right. Come, my friends. Do you, do you guys still even like me? One of you likes me. Why don't the other ones like me? Do you not like me anymore? Come on. Let's get rid of this final spider nest. Go handle it. Wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> dude, it's another spider queen. You can't make this up, dude. That's insane. Alright, go handle her. Come on. Alright, can we get your friends to come down here and help you? Maybe? Yeah, otherwise you're just gonna get wailed on here. Let me let me help you through this. Alright, while they handle the spider queen, I'm just gonna take out this little nest here. Oh my goodness, it just upgraded, but Oh my Where did you come from? Now there's penguins? What's happening? <laughs> wow. There's way too much happening. Alright. I don't like dealing with spider warriors. They're not difficult to deal with, but they're annoying. Like, see, that lunge attack is annoying. Oh, did they take care of it? No. Oh, I've got the bubble now. I'm just gonna... Yeah. I didn't want the bubble, but I got the bubble. Why are they sleeping on the job, man? Oh. I'm trying to, like, kill the... Yeah, okay. There's another spider nest down there, though. I don't know if we'll be able to take out all of the spider nests, but we're going to try. We're going to try. I don't have any food left, though. I mean, I have these berries, but I want to save them for meatballs. Because berries are a non-renewable resource. We're not retreating yet. I want to make sure that spider queen's dead. At least the spider queen. Holy moly. Uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is a losing battle. <laughs> yeah, I would go insane watching that too. Dude, it's just a bunch of spiders eating rocks. 
That's crazy. Okay, we might have to retreat. That's so loud, too. That is so loud. Oh, here's one. Here's one of the rock lobsters. He's hiding for some reason. We could try to get him to join in the battle. Come on. Maybe he can do something. There's some flotsam. If we can get him to focus the queen, then maybe. Alright. Oh, he's not going to focus the queen. Go do something. Go help your friends. Yes, you're very mad. Go help your friends. What? Why is he walking in place? What is that all about? Go help your friends. Do it. Do the cool thing. Alright, let's see how long he lasts. Go for it, man. You got this. I believe in you. Go, go, go! Go! Take them out! Why are you running away? Get back into combat, soldier. Ew. Oop, did not mean to try to hit you. That's my bad. Alright, go. Fight him. Fight him. You guys got this. I'm completely insane, but I really don't care. Why are you hiding in a shell now? Who's attacking you? Nobody. That's right. Get back into combat. There's another spider queen. <laughs> There's another one. Come on, you guys got this. I believe in you. Oh no, we lost one. We lost one. Oh, this is bad. This is not looking good. I might need to help out. Oh, nope, we're insane. I'm focusing on my monsters. I'm focusing on my monsters. They got this. Oh, it's just one left. It's just one left. It's just one left. Where do they keep going? Why do I keep losing my insanity monsters? Alright. Alright. This guy just has a warrior on him. I don't know how to hit the warrior without hitting him, though. Right, let's, let's also just heal up. Oh, I made very angry enemies. Okay, it's just two. No, it's three. One, two, three. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, this this nest is drained though. We can we can really quickly go ahead and oh we have to juggle this guy though. Oh no. It's nighttime. Nighttime. It's nighttime. We don't have our armor anymore. Oh, one of them popped out of their their shell, and he's gone. I don't know where they keep going, but they're just not attacking me permanently now. Are all the spider queens gone? No more boss music. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Alright. Any more... Any more spider nests? There's one nest down here, but it's got penguins all over it. Hold on. Can we get the penguins to fight the, the spiders? Or do they just not care? No, they care. They care. They care a lot, actually. Oh, oh, I made them mad. I made them mad. The penguins did not make them mad. I made them mad. Okay. <laughs> well, let's not deal with that. Oh, we need to go get food. <laughs> we are tragically low on food. And I don't even know if we have any, like, edible food back at home. All right, we need to wait for our army to get here. There they are. All right, you guys ready for this epic war that's about to go down? Let's get a base fire down. All right, friends, handle it. All right, go. Get this thing. <laughs> oh, I messed up. <laughs> go, go, go. Yes, now they're mad. Now you messed up. This one probably won't be as uh, chaotic as the spiders were. Should still be pretty interesting, I guess.
Is it three for these guys? Can I just... It is. Okay, well, now I'm just taking damage for no reason, dude. Are you guys going to do anything about this? Would you like to, at least, I think? I think that'd be very cool of you guys. <laughs> Alright, come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, how are you doing? Get him! Get him! Alright. Oh man, they're just infinitely spawning. Alright. Dude, they're just infinite. Oh, okay. You know what? I'll take that. Alright, let's take out these hound mounds. This is where the hounds will go extinct. Oh, that's perfect. They just go straight for the rock lobsters. They're just going straight for the rock lobsters. This is going to give us more hound's teeth than we're ever going to need, by the way. Alright, can I get these guys close enough so they just do that for me? Can you do that for me? Okay. Whatever, I guess. I'll do it myself. Alright. Let's go warm up a little bit. Alright, last... Last hound mound. And there we go. That is a full extinction of the Desert Hounds. Alright. Where is my army? Where is my army? I said, there, there they are. There's my army. Come, my friends. It is time. Yes, get mad, get angry, get super mad right now. Ow, ow. I think the beekeeper hat gives you like a super massive reduction against damage from bees. Like it's something ridiculous, I think, but. Man, they're still mad at me though. I'm trying to break you guys' nest, because I'm evil. Bundling wrap blueprint. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, you know what? I'm tired of running around giving these guys a... There you go. All right. Lots of honey. Ooh. Um, stingers, honey. We have tons of silk back at home. We don't need the silk. Yeah, beekeeper hats should absorb all the damage. I don't get why it doesn't. I mean, it's such a specialized piece of headwear that I don't get why it doesn't absorb all of the damage. It absorbs most of it, but it still doesn't absorb all of it. It should just absorb all of it. I don't get it. Do blueprints stack? They don't. That'd be cool if they did. We could just bring a bunch home for sanity purposes, but nah. After using our rock lobster army to wipe out all of our surface enemies, we decide to make a friend to end this challenge with. Uh, I've also never tamed a beefalo, because that's like one of the newer additions to solo Don't Starve. It takes 20 days to tame one, I should start. Oh. How do you tame them? Do you have to like feed them grass and stuff? I need like a saddle though, don't I? Like all that stuff. Alright. Can I feed you? you hello yes how much is this am i doing this right this feels like a lot of grass dude bottomless pit over here beefalo i'm giving him all of my grass we're gonna starve to death oh wait am i not supposed to just keep giving him grass Oh, wait, now he doesn't want anymore, right? Make a saddle. Oh, look at that! We got a friend! Wait, what? Come come follow me, friend. Let's go. All right, you know what? That was worth it. We got, we got plenty more grass. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We have 20 days. Even if we ran out of grass right now, we probably would be fine. 
Uh, name sub name suggestions now. <laughs> we could uh, we we could name this guy. He'll be a he'll be a. <laughs> I said that so aggressively. Name suggestions now. All right, how do I make a saddle? Let's figure that out. Is it in survival? No, I'll find it. I'll find it. There it is. Okay. Whoa. Okay, just a regular old saddle. We can make that. I think. Uh-oh. Yes! We have just enough beefalo wool to make it. Woo! Alright, regular old saddle. Saddle horn. Feather pencil? What are all of these things that I've never seen before? Brush? A salt lick? Oh, dude, we have to make all of these. Okay, so we have a saddle. That'll allow the mounting of some smelly animal. Yes. His first name will be Billy, his middle name will be Marvin, and his last name will be Pete. There we go. I found I found compromise. <laughs> Billy, Marvin, Pete. The third. Just because. That's my addition to the name. Billy, Marvin, Pete, the third. What does the brush do? Does that help me make him like me more? Because if so, then I might make a brush instead of the walking cane. Even though that seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> if it makes him like me more, then it's worth it. I want Billy, Marvin, Pete to love me by the end of this. I want Bill Billy, Marvin, Pete to be my best friend. Ever. He will never leave my side. Until I have to leave his side. Because we reached day 100. Pretty much, yes. Okay. We're making a, we're making a beefalo comb instead of instead of a walking cane, guys. I'll survive. I've survived this far without having a speed boost. I'll survive longer without having a speed boost. I can make steel wool, right? That Killing the sheep? What? Oh! We have to go find the... That's one of the animals that happens when you hunt those tracks, doesn't it? Mm, we're gonna have to go hunting. Salt lick. Okay. So I put the salt lick here. And Beefalo will like me forever now. How many licks does it take to get to the center? Ah, funny, funny. All right, where's Billy Marvin Pete? Oh, look at him. He's, he's so cute. He came up to... He, know, he remembers me. All right, so can we like... Yo, no way. Oh, he hates me. He hates me. Billy Marvin Pete hates me. Come on. Yes, you're very hungry. You're a very hungry boy. Let's go. Let's take you home. Yo! Oh, why is it so fast? It's so fast! Whoa. Oh, dude, I look terrified. I look petrified. Look at me. Alright, let's get you home, buddy. Woo! Go, 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 go. I don't get to ride him forever, though, doesn't he? Doesn't he get mad at some point and kick me off? Look at that. Where? Oh, yeah, he's very mad. Ow. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right, so now we brought him to the salt lake. Okay. So now he'll chill here. We have we have Billy Marvin Pete, guys. We have Billy Marvin Pete. The third. I just got to find a track and then we can have a chance. Isn't the doesn't the sheep like throw snot on you and stuff though? Like isn't isn't the sheep pretty dangerous? I've never fought that thing either. Hello, my friend. Look at us go. Look at us go. All right, let, let's go. Let's look around. Let's look around. Ow, oh, what just happened there? Whoa, did you guys see that? Lag? I don't know what just happened there. All right, are you safe? He's safe. All right, my friend, let's go. Can he attack while I'm... Oh, that's so cool. I can use him to attack. That is cool. I think Billy Marvin Pete loves us already, man. Oh, never mind. I lied. I lied to you guys. <laughs> it's okay, though. Billy Marvin Pete is... Uh, he's working his way there. I love you, Billy Marvin Pete. All right. I haven't seen a track yet, though. Still looking out for a track. Though... Fighting a sheep guy does make me feel a little anxious. Oh, sorry. Okay. 
It's okay. We needed logs anyway. Oh! Oh! Hello. All right, guys. This is it. This could be good or just a koala fin, and I'll be sad. Wait, his, his face is changing. Look at his... Look at his face. He looks happier. We'll go check out what animals spawned in the morning. I don't feel like... If it's a varg, I don't want to deal with it in the middle of the night. I want to be able to, you know, not die to it. Because vargs are pretty spooky. And if it's the sheep, I don't know how to fight it. I really don't. So, like... Oh, it's a koala fin. All right, wait. So here, here we go. We're going to test out this combat ability. Let's go. Look at this, man. Dude. Billy Marvin Pete the third is crazy. There's a lot of grass here, actually. Let's stop here and grab some of this. We're going to need it, especially with Billy Marvin Pete's massive diet that he's got going on. Ooh. Hey, Billy Marvin Pete, you want to do some... Want to do some combat? Can I kite with this guy? Oh, I don't even need to. <laughs> Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, look at the difference. You can see. Look, he's, like, got a little smile on him. That's so cute. That's so cute. I love it. All right, we're on the look for... We're on the hunt for a another trail. See if we can find the Euchus. Let's go ahead and walk a little bit away, though. Here we go. I think it's one, two, yeah. Oh, that's gonna freeze me, though. Why are there so many blue hounds? Why are there so many blue hounds? I've never had this many blue hounds in one hound wave. Never have had this many blue hounds in one hound wave. Come on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Never have I had that many blue hounds in one hound wave. That seems ridiculous. That was a lot of blue hounds. I would have used Billy Marvin Pete the third, but... Ah! Ha ha! This could be it, guys. What creature is it? Are you kidding me? Ah, ooh, 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 I did not see that. Are you guys kidding me? How many koala fins are allowed to spawn in a... Come on. <laughs> I mean, more meat, cool, but like... I wanted an Iwakis. I wanted an Iwakis. Not more meat. It is the home stretch. I'd have to really mess things up. And there's a suspicious file. Yes, please. All right, come on. At least, like, give us something that's not a koala fin. I'll take a varg at this point. I will take a varg at this point. Just give us something that's not a koala fin, please. Oh. That's... Why do I even try? We have to head back. It's another koala fin, by the way, guys. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's it's the most luckiest unluck in the world. Because, like, koala fins are probably better to get than Vargs or Uikis. But that's not what we need right now. We need Uikis. Where's Billy? Billy. Where did Billy go? Where did my beloved beefalo go? Ah, oh, there he is. Billy. Billy, I missed you. Come on. Oh, they're going to freeze Billy. Okay, wait. Wait, I made a dire mistake almost. Oh, wait, I'm faster than them. Yes, watch this. <laughs> I just run away from them. Did I just run away from them? <gasps> I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I accidentally got off of him. I froze! I froze! No, Billy, Billy, Billy! You better survive, you better survive, Billy. Billy, please, Billy, please. Oh. Billy, you are a beast. Dude, I, I, 
I pressed dismount as soon as they popped into view. That is... <laughs> that, that was scary. Oh, do I have to feed him? Oh. What? Woo! Billy? Billy! Billy. B what? What's happening to Billy? This is the ultimate betrayal. Billy. Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. It's me. It's me, Billy. Alright. I think by now he should be fine, right? Like, he's no longer... Oh, I thought he was about to hit me. Alright. Yeah, he looks fine. Welcome to day 100. We've done it. We have done it. Day 100 is only 99 days survived. What? Oh, you're right. Okay. Well, we're 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 talking, so we'll take it. We'll take a nap after today and then we'll we'll say it's 100 days survived. <laughs> and with that, my journey through this tough challenge has finally come to an end. And while we never got to experience deer clops, we still had many challenges that threatened our survival. If you have another challenge you want to see me do, leave it in the comments below. And depending on how many likes this video gets, you can expect to see another 100 days challenge very soon. Also, if for some reason you want proof that I actually did survive all 100 days, don't worry. Unlike a lot of other 100 days content creators, I actually have proof that I survived all 100 days. I live stream this entire journey. So head over to that live tab on my channel and enjoy all 13-ish hours of this rough journey. Either way, this has been Polar Lotus, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye